All right, so the next thing we'll talk about is what kind of business to get into. get into it depends on a couple of things number one you have to be passionate about it because if you're not passionate about it like I talked about earlier you're not gonna be able to put in the time that it takes to to really be driven and succeed with it you're gonna get bored of it it's gonna become work and a pain in the ass and then you're just gonna abandon it which is why a lot of businesses end up failing because people don't have the drive to, to see it through um, so that's why people say passion is important in business is because it takes so much effort and so much work that if you're not passionate about it you're probably just gonna quit what kind of business to start there's essentially two different types of business models number one is service-based and two is product-based example would be uh, lawyers and doctors right so lawyers for example so everybody thinks that lawyers make a lot of money and they do one of the lawyers I've used before charges $500 an hour, which is a lot of money. But um, when you think about what a service-based industry actually means, it means that when you're not working, you're not getting paid. So let's say that that uh, lawyer makes $500 an hour and he, on his best day, let's say, and this is impossible, but let's say he clocks in uh, 24 hours of billable hours in that day at $500 an hour the maximum he could ever, ever make in his entire life is $12,000 a day, right? Which seems like a lot, and it is a lot. However, if you compare that to a product-based business, a lot of my clients, a lot of my buddies have product-based business, apparel being one of them. So they go to work for a couple hours, manage things. They go to the gym, work out. They go to the pool. They hang out with their kids. They check things at the end of the day. They sold $30,000 worth of merchandise and they were only office for two or three hours and the rest of the time they're doing what they want to do. And if they sell out a product, you just order more product. You can't, you can't order more hours in the day, but you can order more product. Um, so that's the difference between a uh, service-based industry and a product-based industry. The product-based industry will always have a higher ceiling. So there is a way to convert either of those into uh, the next level and evolution of that and that's with an information product so uh, information product is the same the same exact model as a product based business except that your cost of goods is essentially zero with apparel normally apparel companies will have uh, an efficient apparel company have a 400% markup say you buy a shirt for uh, $5 you sell for $20 that's a 400% markup so say you sell an information product for $20, that information product costs you zero. So you don't have to buy more product. You don't have to do any of that stuff. All you do, if you want more product, you just click a button. You don't have to order it. It doesn't have to come in. You don't have any lead times. Your cost of goods is like I said, zero. So uh, if you can turn either a service-based industry or a physical product-based industry into an information product, that's where you can really start making some good money. An example of that would be uh, LegalZoom.com. So we talked about lawyers as an example of service-based industry before. So what LegalZoom did, LegalZoom did is turn that service-based industry of being a lawyer into a product, and not just a product, but an information product. So when you go to LegalZoom.com and order services, they're really just plugging you into an information pipeline and selling you information. Do you have overhead and all that? But at the bottom, at the end of it, it's infinitely scalable. They can they can sell a million of those in five minutes, and they don't have to order anymore. The cost of goods on that is simply server fees and their website fees. Those are the, the two basic business models, and then the third information product is kind of a way to to the evolution of each of those things. So basically, when you're when you're looking at what a business does and, and how to operate it and and what kind of area you want to go to. Definitely keep that in mind, that you will always have more potential in a product-based business other than a service-based business. Not that you can't make money in a service-based industry. A lot of lawyers make a lot more money than I do, but uh, just in general concept, product-based business, um, if you can do it, that's the way to go. So hopefully that helps when you're thinking about what kind of business to get into. Uh, just keep those three models in mind and uh, try to 
obviously do the most profitable one, and the one that makes sense for you and your goals as uh, not just a business person, but also as a human. Thanks.